before this, we really was bored on the weekend and didn't have nothing much to do. And the racing has really give us something to look forward to through the week. A lot of people might think it's real dangerous. It's fast and it's fun and it's dirty. On just about any ordinary Saturday afternoon, you can find people from five surrounding states, all gathered in Indian land, South Carolina. Sometimes they come from as far away as Canada. They come here to race go-karts, and they all come here to win. Everybody wants to be number one, especially me. I do the driving, he does the work on the go-kart. It's fascinating to think something you can cut grass with, you can run that fast without blowing it. You can turn them like in these straightaways. I've seen them turn 71, 80 miles an hour, just in those straightaways right there. And off the turns, you might run about 40 off the first and second turn, and that's quick. If you're not a good driver, you hurt. Because it'll put you in your head. Indian Land is one of the fastest tracks in the area. They say if you can win at Indian Land, you can win anywhere. The competition is fierce, but it's also fair. The carts are weighed after practice and again after every race to be sure the weight of the driver and cart are legal for the class they're running in. Before each race, the fuel is pumped out of every cart, mixed with the regulation fuel, then pumped back into the cart. So if anyone is running an illegal fuel, they get to share it with all of the other drivers. Go-kart racing is serious business in Indian land. The racers and their families invest a lot of time and money into the sport. It's something the family can really get into, you know, uh, and participate in, keep occupied doing something. My father, he's 75, and my mother, she's right at 70, and uh, they, can't, they come to every race. You know, they don't miss any. Like we go on the road to state races or go off on uh, the run at other tracks. They tag them right along with us. They enjoy it. As with any form of serious competition, winning doesn't come easy. Most of these drivers aren't scientists, but they know their chemistry and physics. And they all know Murphy's Law. During practice, the carts are driven, tested, and adjusted depending on the track conditions. A silence. The drivers and their crews scramble to make last minute changes that hopefully will give them an edge up on the competition. The officials inspect the track for safety. This best kept track I run on. We run on them all over South Carolina. We run in state races all over South Carolina. And I think it's the safest one that we've run on also. It's good competition down here. As a couple girls that come down here and race, they do real good. They just out there with us, so they have to go with the flow. <laughs> I guess some of them know who I am. They'll try to lean on me a little bit harder, but I guess that's mainly with everybody. They do everybody the same. They don't. Know, they can't really tell I'm a girl unless they know my number and who I am. It's interesting. It's you don't really pay it any attention. If you, if you want to race, you get out there and do it. And as the sun sets behind the trees. The lights come on, and the serious racing begins. It's exciting, it's a challenge. I started a year ago, and I ran at the back most of last year, and then all of a sudden I kind of got the hang of it. We run down here 
and it'd be like 20 degrees outside and you'd see ice spewing up on the ground. You know, you've seen ice ice spew up. Whenever he was a kid, whenever he was real little, he had to race with the bigger boys and they kind of took care of him. Taking care of yourself now. It's very fun. You can get into it and just have a ball. Sometimes you can come down here with a worse attitude and you leave with the best.